Welcome to a, another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is Lesson 11B. And uh, today we're going to talk about securing Tasker or Tasker security. Uh, in our last lesson, Lesson 11, we created this profile that locked an app. And uh, basically any apps we added into this list as a trigger when the, the task would put up the lock screen uh, keypad that would block access to that app. Uh, so that's effective except if someone picks up your phone and they know how to use Tasker all they have to do is uh, come in here and turn this off and then they can go access anything they want to, right? So let's talk about securing Tasker. We're going to go into preferences and UI lock. And again, you always have those little uh, question marks that help explain things to you in Tasker. I try to make it as easy as possible. So once you enter the code, it must be entered again to delete a locked profile, view a locked profile, to disable Tasker, to clear or restore profile data, to view Tasker preferences, uh, going to a task edit screen if any locked Profiles have named task, creating a widget or shortcut if any locked profiles have name. A profile can be locked via profile properties, and a locked name profile will automatically collapse when the Tasker UI starts. So that uh, allows you to protect it. So let's put a lock code in there. We're going to go one, two, three, four for simplicity. And you can have it lock on startup. Again, if you click the Question mark, it tells you right there if check the lock code is requested as soon as the UI starts, if Tasker has been validated. It's also requested when creating a widget or a shortcut. Um, we're not going to do that because that's not a concern for me, but you could do that if you want to just completely lock Tasker on startup. You could do that. So, but we are going to use the lock code and you will not be able to remove if it's forgotten. So you have to remember it. And we're going to select this profile. And we're going to select uh, settings. Actually, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to select this profile and select menu and then lock. And you see the little lock that shows up right there. So this profile is now locked. So now let's say somebody comes in, they try to open this app that we've blocked, and uh, oh, I have that profile turned off, don't I? Let's go back into Tasker. Go back here. I'm gonna turn that profile on, but see, it won't let me turn it on without entering that code. Can't be turned on or off without entering the code. So let's enter the code. Three, four, okay. So now it's on. So go in here, we're gonna get that. Someone says, well, okay, I'm just gonna go on a tasker and turn that off. That's a tasker thing. Open tasker. You can see it's locked, so if they wanted to turn that off, they can't without entering that code. So we go back and we try to open that app again, we get the same thing. If we let's unlock it, that unlocks it. Um, as you might remember, uh, see, we can't even access it without entering the code. So let's enter the code. One, two, three, four. And now we can see uh, we uh, have DocuSign Inc. or Gallery, either one of those uh, would be the uh, triggers for the, the lock screen. So what I wanted to show you is that you go in here, go down here, try to turn that off, 
I don't have the code cancel doesn't show it turning back on physically but it is still on because it's locked unless you entered the code so let's go actually let's just go here go to my gallery and you see the gallery doesn't come up the code comes up cancel out because we don't know the code that's going to take us back to our home screen so that's how you uh, go into your preferences you have to enter the code even to get into that and enter enter the lock code um, and it does tell you the code needs only to be entered once each time Tasker's UI runs so if once you open it and you enter it you're good you're you're unlocked while you're in here but once you go out of Tasker and go back in as you could see then uh, you'd want to uh, uh, you'll have to reopen it. Um, since we're already in it and we're already unlocked, you can see if we go in here, let's go to task. Let's go down to this task. And we're going to click lock. Well, you can still access it now, but if we go out and go back in, then you're not going to be able to access it. So that's just basically how you can, you know, protect your, your task or your profiles so that no one can access it unless they uh, enter the right code. Once they enter the right code, then of course they can go ahead and uh, uh, access it. So you would only know that. So that's how you can kind of doubly secure once you, if, you, if you're using the, the task or lock to block people out of uh, uh, certain applications then you can uh, also uh, keep them from going into Tasker if, if it's someone who would know Tasker would think to do that and keep them from doing that by securing Tasker and then also keep in mind you do have the option inside of uh, preferences to uh, lock on startup so you could automatically lock tasker on startup so that's how you can basically help secure tasker and really secure the lock app feature if you're going to use that to uh, lock people out of apps anyway that's it for this lesson uh, if you like this lesson please click the like button subscribe to my channel check out my android app reviews and uh, i've got other product reviews and stuff as well and uh, favorite this playlist so you can keep up with future tasker lessons. If you have any questions, throw them down in the bottom. I'll do my best to answer them. If you have requests uh, for future lessons, things you'd like to figure out how to do, then feel free to throw those my way too. Because all the lessons from now on are pretty much just going to be that kind of a thing. Uh, figuring out uh, something to do and then doing it. Figuring out a way to do it and then show you guys how to do it. So. Uh, you can kind of learn as you go. That's the best way to learn learn Tasker, as I mentioned in an early lesson. And uh, that's about it. Share this with anyone you know who might be interested. Facebook, Google+, Twitter, all those good ways. Reddit, I think, is down there too. And uh, that's it until next time. So have fun with Tasker.